So hi, this is Ravenhawk from Fast Working Love Spells. Um, so I'm having my router checked again because I think my router is jacked up. Uh, my phone is not behaving well again. And it's the same thing happened to me a year ago when I lived in King City, California. And it was coincidentally when my neighbor literally was sitting around my house. I don't know what's their deal. I don't know what they're up to. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish. I don't know what they have going on amongst themselves. Why they sent her to sit around my house? Because she lived there for two years prior and nothing. It was very quiet. And suddenly she became almost like a menace, a monster. And I'm not making this up by just by hearing stuff. I saw her reflected in my glass sitting at the back of my house, legs folded and a tablet in her lap. I saw her as God is my witness, I saw her. And another time I saw her, she was hunched over I was talking on the phone and I, I must have heard something and I looked over because something made me look over and she was just hunched over trying to get in her door. And I thought, was she, was she listening to my conversation? Guess she was. I must have heard her elbow or something hit against the wall because I used to hear that a lot. If I'm in a toilet, if I'm on the toilet, my country is in the toilet. If I'm on the toilet, she would sit down, plump down, right behind the wall and the toilet, elbows hitting. And I was so frustrated that I started just saying gross things and, you know, almost like I'm playing along with it, hoping that I would, something would trigger in this woman's head to leave me alone, but she didn't. And I'm in Stillwater, Oklahoma right now. A router is like a, a week old. The phone is a week old. And I think both of them got jacked up. The reason how I know the phone is jacked up, this phone number has never been used for texting nor calling. Two email, address, two email addresses has been used on it, or one actually, that was made after I left King City. After I left King City. And it's showing up on Facebook. The phone number is showing up on Facebook. How is that possible? It's not even the old Facebook account. It's a brand new account I made. Everything is brand new. Never logged into any old email addresses on this phone. Why is it they're saying they're using this as an authentication? I don't understand this. I don't understand what she wants, what she's trying to get me implicated in. I don't know, but it's happening to me and I'm going to say my heart goes out to anybody else who may be experiencing this because in my opinion, if one person can do this, then more people can do it. And it's been happening every day to people out there, not maybe by them or her, but other people. This, she cannot be a unique case. This cannot be a unique case. There's more people doing this out there. And I know how hard this is. And especially when nobody believes you. It's almost like they're house hopping. They're in your house. There's a movie I saw where this young couple was hiding in a house and just going in people's houses and living. I saw part of it and I got bored with it and I stopped because it wasn't interesting. It wasn't interesting to me. But I don't understand how warped, how twisted is this person? How, what has she become? I don't know. And what the end game is, what are they trying to accomplish? Have they sent her here for me to call the police to get her arrested? Have they sent her here to what? For me to uh, try the best I can to see what they can get away with? Because I have been to the FBI. I have been to the cybercrime.gov. I filled out everything. I went to the police. I got the police over here. Nobody's doing anything. The police flat out told me they don't handle hacking. 
They can't help me. That's what the, those were their words. They can't help me. Because it looks so abstract. The thing with hacking, it's so abstract. It's not like something concrete, except money is, is missing. People's money are being missing. And that's the problem. So, I sympathize and I empathize with any of you out there who is going through this, especially if people don't believe you. And me, I'm a single woman. Don't have a partner, don't have any kids, don't, not close to any, literally not physically close to any family member. I'm a prime candidate for people like this. I am a prime candidate for people like this. I don't want to brand myself, but for, for somebody who wants to fuck with people, I would be a prime candidate. Whatever their end goal is, whatever, whatever they're using me to see, just how much they can accomplish without getting caught, or, or, or what people normally would do. I don't know. Are they using me as an experiment? What, what are they doing? I don't know. What does she want? I don't know. But she, she seems to have some deep-rooted agenda against me. And I don't know. I don't understand what she wants. Is it drugs? Because she uses copious amounts of drugs. But I don't think it's the drugs only. Because I've seen, I worked at San Francisco General Hospital. And we used to get addicts in all the time. And none of them acted like this. This is like a unique case from my experience. Not a unique case out there. But for me, this is unique. I, I, I've never seen anything like it. And she has a kick-ass psychic ability. She can literally like see like I'm looking at myself here and I know it's almost like she can be seeing through my eyes think of what thieves big time gangsters what they can use her for but why me maybe because I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist and I look at situations and I can come up with all different scenarios because I can surmise with the best of them I know that. It sets my brain on fire. But everything I do is like fact-based because I have to have some physical, you know, some physical thing to attach to it. So what I'm saying here is I don't know what Erica's game is. And her name is Erica, by the way. And she can sue me for this, which is what I want. Somebody take to, to start police proceedings. There, I've said it. Her name is Erica. And I will challenge her. That's my challenge to you, Erica. If you can see me, that's my challenge to you. Peace out.